So, <clears throat> enemies of the mind. So, how do you find the journey? What changes is taking place in everyday life? Has to be consciously observed. This is what we have a cognitive ability. <clears throat> So if we assess and understand and observe the change in our behavior, in our attitude, it will go a long way. On the other side, we always constantly need to ask in question how many times I was upset, anxious, fully busy since the last session because it keeps your awareness intact and that ultimately helps you to evolve and approach near to the real self. <clears throat> yeah, last time we discussed we have no right to die before we learn and study Eastern wisdom and reach to the peak of our evolution. Because we have a choice. No other living species has a choice. So here I just want to, it's the same topic, but in a different way. <clears throat> Many people you, you, you have found talking to you that I'm not a religious person. I don't go to the religious places and I'm a spiritual. Have you seen any difference between a person who claims he is religious or the person is non-religious? We don't see any difference except that I don't go to religious places or I go there. It has nothing to do with it. When these enemies of the mind are removed, you are a spiritual person. It raises your self-awareness. It has nothing to do with any god and goddesses of the religion. We have to be 100% clear. Oh, I don't go there. My parents are going there. Oh, they, are, they don't understand. No, you do not understand. It is none of our business if other people understand or not. Do I raise my level of awareness? How many times I become upset? I have to keep a stock of that. That helps me to know that I'm approaching to the real self. My goal is to know the, who am I. That makes you a spiritual person. I'm approaching who am I. Really? Uh, someone trying to join, maybe sometime it happens. So religious and non-religious has nothing to do with it. When you are a spiritual person, you are aware, you are consciously, you are mindful. How many times I had a restlessness what are the impurities of the mind? What are the ignorance of the mind? Or does the mind blame and complain others, the society, the relationship? That has nothing to do with being religious and non-religious. So we are just, we are always talking of the three categories of the impurities the restlessness and impurity and the ignorance. You minimize them the moment your goal is to minimize them, minimize their impact and you start living in calmness and peace in your personal, professional and social life. That is exactly being a spiritual person.
Well, obviously, our main topic is the enemies of the mind and how I should be curious. I should understand that I have to end the suffering in my life and whatever it takes. So once we have that notion, that idea, that thought, and then we set up the goal clear. Then we recognize we have a cognitive ability. It is because of the ego or likes and dislikes. It is because of uh, the desire of seeking happiness outside is causing me the problem. I should be 100% clear about the subject matter. If I'm not, then obviously you have not heard me in these weeks and the months. So once we understand that, that understanding by the power of the discernment, we understand how to apply the conventional methods to live my personal, professional, social life. So when I apply these conventional methods in my personal, professional, social, and family life, I instantly recognize that if my mind moving with the impurity will make me sensitive, you simply withdraw yourself and remain calm. And then we go, we apply the best method to purify the mind. We have been understanding and you might have been experiencing in your life with a clarity <clears throat> that the purity of the mind works like a shock absorber. It gives you a sense of emotional freedom. Wrong notions are now gone from your life or they have started leaving you. Mind awakens to or the intellect awakens to what is right and good in your life. You instantly become aware. There is a, why? Because there is a rise in self-awareness. There is a natural state of peace and calm. That is opposite of impurity and also that is opposite of restlessness. Do you still remember? We have used uh, 3C, conventional methods to apply. How we apply? By connecting, contributing and celebrating internally. Ego, craving, obsession, so-called being very sensitive, prevents you to connect consciously, prevents you to contribute consciously, prevents you to celebrate your life consciously. That is why we have these conventional methods. Ah, I will also go through in the following session briefly. <clears throat> so what happens? Your attitude your response that comes from inside, somewhere inside, deeper inside, it does not come from the ego. It does not, it is not a ready-made response. It is not an impulsive response. It is not an habitual response. Why? Because you are evolving. I'm approaching the same impurity, three problems of the mind, that is why we have, you know, in abnormal psychology, I think Christina is, might be aware, we have more than 3,000 illnesses. More and more we are discovering. Discover peace and happiness in the way you are discovering that. <coughs> that is one of the major reasons I think I should not uh, become a counselor here. The answer is going to talk the same thing. 
how many times you were anxious. So you give me the solution. So if you look back a couple of the sessions, what happens? We have also understood auspicious moments. Where is that? that? Every day you wake up in the morning, you use your thinking process that I have heard the real self is a pure consciousness of the nature of peace and happiness and how far I have gone. I have to realize by my thought, by my behavior, by my activity, by my expression in my personal, in my professional, in my social life. Uh, it's a, just a recap to make you understand. <clears throat> I've already... So what is the best method I have discussed? Best method is the self-inquiry. I don't want to use the word talk, therapy. But self-inquiry is that you are communicating to you with a particular principle, keeping in mind that principle in your life. Principle of the Eastern wisdom. It is like a geometry. You know, I, I studies in my school, you know. So you sometimes what you see that in geometry, you say you to prove. You prove it false, you leave it. And you prove it otherwise, you accept it. The same process of the self-inquiry. So inquiry, that self-inquiry is the... So we are going to understand how we have to follow the path of the self-inquiry. But the few principles that we are understanding that the self-inquiry, why the self-inquiry is the best method. How come the impurity and the ignorance are religion? Is the impurity first or the ignorance is the first? Ignorance is the root cause of the impurity or, or the impurity is the root cause of the ignorance? That needs to be rightly understood and kept in mind. I hate you. It is an impurity. But why I hate you? You are also a human being. I am also a human being. Now I am inquiring. Existence has created both of us as a human being. So from where this hatred comes? Hatred comes from the... Yeah, obviously we can say the mind. But why that hatred in my mind about you? So our master says it comes due to the ignorance. We will talk about the ignorance in the following session, but for the sake of understanding. So ignorance is the root cause of the suffering. Second argument that our master gives that I hate you. So the moment you are in front of me, I have a feeling of the hatred and the negativity in my mind. And that person is enjoying that person has nothing to do with it because you have not expressed your hatred to that person. So that person is enjoying your company and you are not enjoying. So that is what the impurity in that process, that is how we have to recognize in our daily life. You go and meet some person, shake hand, you live your family life, your personal and professional life. No, the moment anything pops up in the mind. The last time what did we understand? That impurity expresses itself in a waking state. It does not express in a sleep state. It does not, even if it expresses in the, even if it is expressing in the, in the, what happened? Ah, uh, why Brandy is not able to join? I hear. So, can you ask David again him again her to 
click the link. I think my internet connection is also okay. It's showing 700 megabyte per second. So it may be due to Oh, yes, we sent it. Yes, that's good. Thank you, David. So understand that part. Here she is there. She is there. Where she is? <coughs> I clicked. Yes, she is there. So we we were we where we were. We were there in purity and ignorance. So ignorance is the root cause that creates an impurity in the mind and ultimately that impurity is being expressed in my thought in my behavior in the speech and the life becomes steady another part that we understand that these expressions or so-called the impurity which always takes place in the waking state so in the sleep state, there as such, there we, we don't find any impurity. Once you had a deep sleep, you return from the deep sleep in a waking state, you express, I had a wonderful sleep, deep sleep, sound sleep. So that sound sleep does, directly points out that in sleep we didn't, didn't have any impurity. So then we also understood there are three pairs. At present, we will talk about the three pairs. We will go deep into it. <clears throat> First pair is the likes and dislikes. We'll understand what are likes and dislikes, why is there, how is there, and how the likes and dislikes causes the impurity coming due to the ignorance. Another level of ignorance that expresses in the trio is the desire. But be very clear, we have a desire for hunger, desire for thirst. We are not talking of that desire. We are talking of a desire for seeking something from the world for peace and happiness. I desire someone who should love me. It means I feel that sense of loneliness. I have a sense of emotional bondage. That is why I am seeking. Someone should love me. Why someone should love me? Are you special? Uh, yes, I am special. That makes you sensitive. You, you see the entire journey? We will understand that slowly. <laughs> so what is trial? The desire, anger, and greed. So if my behavior and expression follows Shreyas, we have discussed before what is right and good, I will naturally get my love and respect. I need not to worry about it. So desire, hesitation and the greed is the trial and the third pair is the ego and the selfishness. We will understand ego from the point of view of Eastern wisdom. We are not going to understand from the modern cycle. So these are the various impurities in the mind. So three categories of impurities. What are the siblings, their parents and grandparents? You include all the 3000 illnesses of abnormal cycle. I don't want to name, you know, otherwise American, you know, people will say we will sue you, how you have included all of them. Some of them is anxiety, huh? so you can say attachment, unwanted food, depression, and all kinds of restlessness, mood swings, suffering. They are the siblings of these three categories of the impurities we will understand you need not to believe it once we will understand we discuss we understand so once we understand that if the moment i wake up i have an individuality which i say i am 
this guy, I have this profession, and then that when the I is activated, if I say so, in a waking state that I is activated, and then these impurities are ready to work with it. So it means we will keep that I as it is, remove those impurities. Are you getting it? So for that we have to understand that I also and that is what and if they are found in the waking state then I have a waking state maybe 10, 12, 14 hours and those 14 hours includes my personal life, my professional life, my social life, my family life. Common denominator is a waking state. Am I right? Say yes. Common denominator is a waking state. That is the foundation, that is the basis behind it. Then why I get stress at the workplace? Why I get stressed with one person and why I am happy with the other person? Are you getting it? Common denominator is a waking state. You are talking, you are work, you are at your workplace, you are in your family, you are with your parents, you are with your siblings, you are with your son. All, all this is a waking state, isn't it? So waking state one, I have a lot of stress. Why? My boss is crazy. Now see, waking state one. Waking state two. My honey loves me. So when I'm in the family, my all stress is gone. <laughs> so I'm bringing about a change in that perception. You just become aware. Oh, waking state. One, two, three, four, five. Example. And all the five waking state, you have a different feeling. You have a different experience. Who is to blame? Waking state. Person outside or the impurities of the mind. Are you getting it? It's very easy to analyze and examine and instantly become aware. So what happens when you analyze in that way, the moment you have some kind of a hatred and a reaction in the mind and you become consciously aware, no, 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 I have to do nothing with it. That is the method, one method of the self-inquiry to take care. Uh, you have applied the conventional method and you got out. Are you getting it? Again, I'm saying a simple thing. Nothing, no statement goes illogical. You know, normally we talk about Eastern wisdom is, no, it is highly irrational. No, it is. If science is 100% rational, this wisdom is 200% rational. Rational. We inquire, we analyze, we examine each and every word that we use. So in this example, what I'm repeating it again and see that which, which pair or try of the impurities are present here. Waking state one. I say, uh, I'm totally stressed out here. Yeah, very good. Then you meet your honey, for example. If somehow you love your honey, so yes, only you give me the relaxation. Background is the waking state. Then you like to have a, maybe, what is that? A red wine or white wine? So you have taken a glass. Oh, that, you have taken a sip. And the waking state has changed completely. Because of the past impression that you have. Because you like the red wine. Are you getting it? I'm just trying to go deeper. Step by step. So the waking state is a common denominator. And in that waking state, the mind is playing on you. Mind is working on you. 
So what you like gives you a pleasure. <laughs> and what you dislike makes you feel stressed. Right? Now you remove the likes and dislikes. Let the waking state remain. <laughs> then what happens? Now, now uh, let me ask you a, another question. <clears throat> Do you want to enjoy your life in a waking state or in a sleep state or in a dream state? I know it's a crazy question, but the answer is simple. I, I don't enjoy uh, sleep. No, you enjoy sleep. You said that you had a sound sleep. But even if I'm in a deep and sound sleep, I don't enjoy it. I don't see it consciously. I want to enjoy my life consciously. Means waking state. Because the dream state hardly, the moment you return, the dream state is not physical. So the one conclusion comes that, yes, in a waking state, I want to live my life. Fact is this, every human being wants to live in peace and happiness, love and wisdom in a waking state. Clear? Now, is the waking state or I would say awareness of waking is different from the mind or mental behavior or attitude? Do I have a conscious choice? Uh, do I have a conscious choice to change, change it? Answer is yes. Why shouldn't I change? You can include any of the three three categories of the impurities, because I feel an intense desire or a craving only in a waking state. Do you have the same in? <laughs> In sleep state? If you have it, you are not sleeping. You are still in a waking state. Look at the way the master offers us a clarity. And same thing with the desire, hesitation, or there's greed. And the third is the ego and the selfishness. Ego demands that I want this. So I take over the desire. And desire has its own craving and the force, and the I has its own prayer. So they, one trio and the one duo, go together. When they go, again I'm stressing in this session. Where when they go, they always move and work in a conscious state, in a waking state. Waking state always remains in lane number two. Now see, that's why I started that understanding much before. It's a waking state, you know, it doesn't change. Whether you are in a stress or you are hugging someone or you are hitting someone. <laughs> Do you see that uh, waking state is independent? of my behavior and attitude. It's not difficult. Oh, it's, a, it's totally independent. Okay. It's independent and so, whether I fight with you in a waking state, I love you in a waking state, I have a craving in the waking state, go on, looking at it. What you did? Separation. How? I told you, like the highways, we have a three lanes. Mental highway, we have the three lanes. Lane number one, unwanted, unwelcome thoughts. Lane number two is the intellect. So through the intellect, I recognize that I'm in a waking state. That is why mind is trying to, my own mind is trying to, you can complete the sentence. 
trying to make me crazy, trying to make me sensitive, trying to make me reactive, trying to fight with me. And the moment you have separated, you are already free. Then you really enjoy what exactly is mindfulness or meditation. Close your eyes. Eyes are closed and we are connecting, we are contributing to each other and we are celebrating. What we are celebrating? We are celebrating our waking state. That is the highest meditation. <coughs> position of the body, whatever the position that you have of the body, which is comfortable, at ease, eyes are closed. You are in a waking state? Yes. So the waking state is observing, is the mind struggling to be comfortable or at ease? If you are at ease, <coughs> the impurities are not present in your mind at present. I'm not saying it is totally removed. but we will go in a simple way <coughs> and we will keep doing those steps. So we'll go a little deeper. Perhaps last time I discussed, so being comfortable. You know, when I explain, that is a part of the self-inquiry. With that explanation, I give you a transcription. That is a practice. It's not a big deal. You need to be a little more aware. That's all. More aware in a waking state? Oh, what do you mean? In a waking state, I... Sometimes I become less aware or more aware. You know it. Yes. What the Master is saying. Just maintain your awareness. We miss it. How we miss it? because of these impurities, fears in the trial of impurities. Oh, well that is why you are saying being comfortable. Yes. Look at the neck joint. <coughs> First layer. You are aware of the simple, you are not doing anything. You're looking at the show, neck joint, awareness. Say sensation, comfort, and steadiness, that is your experience. No, go deeper. You find the sense of emptiness or steadiness of the space. Shoulder joints, physical layer. <clears throat> so how our self-inquiry makes our intellect very subtler. And when it becomes the subtlest, the real self is with you. No, it is still with you. Good. Shoulder joints, physical. Little subtler is the sensation, comfort and steadiness. And then there is a space. I have repeated a couple of times. Space is awareness and awareness is space. It needs to be contemplated. Become aware of the entire body. Awareness of the body means awareness, physical body. So that awareness results into an experience of a sensation, comfort, and steadiness in the mind. Why in the mind? All experiences take place in the mind, including all the impurities. So what is now you have? You have a sensation, comfort, and steadiness. <coughs> so is it possible to to change all those impurities by a conscious experience? Answer is yes. What is this process? It is mindfulness or meditation.
you are the doer, you have a conscious experience. And then we, ah, still the thoughts are coming. So I made it very simple by a metaphor like the highway, we have three lanes, the mental highway has three lanes. One lane, you are aware of unwanted, un, unwelcome thoughts that comes to the mind that goes away. You have consciously decided to meditate, but still one layer of the mind, unwanted, unwelcome thought. Layer number one, you are conscious of it and you continue that awareness. That is layer number two. So what happens when you are in lane two, you have already separated yourself from the lane one. What is the result? You jump into the lane number three. <coughs> So the entire explanation means, let the thought come, let it go. Everyone says, you know, everyone in my profession says, but the master is asking a question, do you really know what do you mean? What do you say? So what has happened? There is a discernment and there is a dispassion. We will continue. So another way to bring the mind to a natural focus to discover our real entity is the mantra. So, lane number one has many subconscious, <coughs> unconscious, unwanted, unwelcome thoughts. So we don't waste the time. We start with, the, we replace it. It has nothing to do with the curtain dog. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Mentally, you say to trigger your brain according to the sign. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Meaning? The moment we want to know the meaning, we have started the self inquiry. Let everyone be happy. No, but we want a knowledge. How do you say that? Everyone is seeking happiness in the world, including the living species, all the living species. Flies and insect in your home, uh, the wild animal, all, everyone, <clears throat> inherent in it. So we are not going too far. So it means the person with whom I'm living, I'm interacting, is also seeking peace and happiness. Yes, it's a fact. Should I respond to them? You know what I mean? Yes, you know. So why shouldn't I connect, contribute and celebrate? Now you see, in a waking state, your mind is clear. Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu You are also saying Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Let there be, may there be peace for everyone. Or let the peace be everyone. That is the meaning, but what is the knowledge? We all are seeking peace. I just explained. If the lot of impurities are there, the intellectually we can settle into the peace, but that emotional bondage and the past impression overpowers this understanding, this awareness and awakening state. That is what I was explaining to you. That the waking state is a common denominator. Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu. Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu Simple translation is let there be a completeness in all, wholeness in all. Now I'm not using holy and wholeness otherwise you may brand me religious person. So basically it is a wholeness 
completeness. When I don't feel the sense of completeness, <coughs> impurities are active. Oh, is that so? Yes. And there are moments every day in my life when <coughs> there is a sense of forgetfulness of all the impurities. I feel the sense of completeness, but I want to feel it 24 by 7. That is the journey we have undertaken. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu <coughs> Auspiciousness Right and good at this moment, at this location, in this situation. <clears throat> I have to remember, I have to recall why to remove the impurities. If I don't find this moment is auspicious, this situation, this location, this group, this company, In the waking state, the mind has already overpowered me. And we continue to purify the mind. Now we come to by the breathing. So what we do, you look inside the forehead in the space. There you mentally drop Om Shanti and now the rib case breathing. Rib case means you inhale through both the nostrils and expand the chest. You exhale and contract the chest. <coughs> First, you should understand clearly when you should experience the change by the entire practice. Then you are sharing your experiences so that you have a better understanding. You have an intellectual understanding, you have an experiential understanding, then only you can give these practices to others. <coughs> Continue. And stop it, do nothing. We all have a cognitive ability to recognize the chains in the vision, the experiences. <clears throat> Just experience. And 
otherwise they will sue me if I say cognitive behavior CBT. But you are just, you know what I'm saying, recognize, accept the changes. That's one of the most beautiful principles in the Eastern West. And now keep on doing the Om Shanti and start breathing from the belly. When you inhale, the belly expands. When you exhale, the belly contracts. Lips remain together. Long. Deep. Continue. You continue the mind with the impurities, forgets the waking state, getting carried away by these impurities will challenge your breathing and you are doing it consciously. And if you are doing it consciously, you can definitely achieve it. <clears throat> And stop this, do nothing. Again, what I said, recognize the changes, the experiences, the feeling, and accept it. You have to do nothing. Oh, I have beautiful, good and bad. No, there is no adjective of good and bad. If you have done it, you are safe. Now keep on Om Shanti, start with breathing to both belly and the chest. You inhale, the belly expands in the chest. You exhale, belly in the chest squeezes. You are conscious of the movement of the belly and the chest will help you to separate, no, will help you to recognize the waking state is separate from what you are doing. I believe you have understood it. I will talk to you in our next session deeply. Just continue.
continue And start this breathing, just recognize. You know, when we say recognition, it comes out from the word cognition. So you're neither attached nor detached, you just are aware. So because we have to acclimatize the mind to accept these changes, which includes the vision in the colors and lot of other changes. Now moving the mind inside the heart, looking at the triangle, the equilateral triangle, moving the mind on each side, dropping Om Shanti gently. We're not in a hurry. Clockwise, anti-clockwise to check if there is a thing off one side, movement of the mind, and Om Shanti. You find the thing? Go deep, deep inside the heart, singing Om. Again, you are putting a waking, on the waking state. You recognize mind seemingly stops. You say Shanti. After that, do nothing. <clears throat> Remain in the waking state. And now leave this step also. And now that step. Mind side looks at the finger segments and dropping on Shanti. So we leave the thumb, but <coughs> four fingers has each one has a four segment. You take your Mind's eye at the lower segment of the index finger, mind's eye, mind's touch, and mind's sound. Om Shanti. Second. You go to the fourth segment, that is the tip of the index finger. From there you go to the tip of the second finger. It's a casual and natural movement. <clears throat> Consciously you are transcending the senses. Again I'm saying using the word consciously. So you totally separate the waking state 
from all the activities, from the doership, from the enjoyership, is that the higher state of meditation? No, oh, first experience. <clears throat> You feel those very peculiar sensations on these points of the fingers. <coughs> it is because of the prana. Prana, we say the life force. Where the prana goes, there the mind goes, or where the mind goes, there the prana goes. That is a subtle principle. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. <clears throat> Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside the palms, know your experiences. Bring the hands down, we'll share our experiences openly. How are you, Stephen? <clears throat> um, very very good. good, thank, thank you. you. Um, um, the, the, the meditation, meditation for, me for me was, was um, absolutely, absolutely effortless. effortless. Um, no, no, no thoughts. thoughts. Uh, was just, I was just focused. The, the only thing that really stood out to me was, uh, was, was during the job and, 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 and I was so focused in on my hands and, and um, my, my hands started, started vibrating. vibrating. Right. Um, yeah. And, 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 and um, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, like out of control. control. I, could, I, could I could just feel a sensation, sensation going through the points, 
um, of, of, of the hand, hand. Um, and, that and that was the only, only profound thing. thing. Everything, Everything else was just calm, um, um, relaxed. It's, 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 Beautiful. You are conscious, then nothing can go out of control. Everything goes out of control when we are not conscious, when we are not aware. Uh, that is what is the how to how the waking state separate itself from all the activities. We will talk. We will uh, will have. It's a very good, very good. Stephen, you shared your experiences. How are you, David and Jerry? <coughs> Thank, Thank you. Good, good morning. morning. <coughs> Uh, it, was it was just, just extremely, extremely uh, peaceful. I spent at at the vast majority of my time in lane three. It was, um, you know, two, two in the beginning, beginning and then by the time of the breathing, breathing, the breathing just, just felt, felt like, like water, water flowing. flowing. And, and the, the, yeah, yeah, the, the Joppa, when I was doing the Joppa, Joppa it's funny, I had these like vivid, vivid images of my fingers, fingers. That's uh, doing, doing the Joppa, but just very, very peaceful. Very peaceful, vivid images, you know, that, that's how we separate, separate in our head, not physically or so called. It's a field of awareness. I'm just a waking state. So now I'm aware of my eyes. So that awareness of the eyes is the content of the waking state. Am I clear? Mm -hmm. That is what is happening. That is how when you when the mind lives into that state you feel a tremendous feeling and tremendous experiences vivid visions and colors beautiful how are you jerry it's very good thank, thank you. you um it, it was, was really, really great, great. It, it, my, my mind, mind went, went back, back to the space, space between, between the breath, breath just because, because i love that, that metaphor, metaphor. So, so it was similar, similar to separating the awake state, state is separate, is separate from, from everything, everything we do. do. It's, it's always, always there. there. The space is always there. there. Our, Our awareness, awareness is always there. there. But the thing is, is, is that sometimes, that why I like the metaphor you use with the space between the breath is we take something that we habitually do because we don't usually have to think about breathing. We just do it. And then we really dial in our awareness to that or the or we're Aware, aware of that, that space, space that's already, already there, there but, but we usually don't, don't think about it unless, unless we struggle, struggle with breathing. Um, so, so that's, that's the same thing we have to do throughout. We don't have to do, have have to do anything. anything. Yet, Yet when, when, we're, we're, when we're triggered by those impurities or the impurities are there, there we just have to remember the awareness and the space and the consciousness. Yes, yes. Yes, it's a beautiful way. Another way to explain the same thing separation that separation is discernment that is what we we started our journey <clears throat> and the moment we have that sense of discernment in a kind of separation we see that we are neither the hatred we are neither the like and dislike so in that metaphor a pause between the movement of the breath is definitely there and we forget it Beautiful sharing your experiences. We will go to, uh, yes, let us go to Sam. How are you, sir? Very, very good. good. Um, it, it was, was very, very peaceful, peaceful and expensive today. today. Peaceful and expensive. So you have shared your experiences in a waking state. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay. Then I will not say. You already know it. <laughs> How are you, Brandy? I'm sorry I couldn't see your email. Thank, thank you. you. I'm, I'm good. good. And, and thank, thank you, Tree and David, for helping me get in the meeting, meeting today, today because, because I especially uh, appreciated the lesson and you need to hear it. I think it can, it can be, be really easy. easy. Um, to, to kind, kind of waste, waste energy on the mind stuff, stuff when it takes it maybe an equal amount of energy to be present and celebrate. Yes, and, and I think it kind of just comes down, down to a choice, choice, you know, and, and I don't, I don't always make it right one, but that was a cool reminder. reminder. So, so thank, thank you. you. Well, you don't make the right choice? You have made the right choice. 
Sometimes, sometimes I don't, I don't think the right choice. Sometimes, sometimes I, I get, get caught up in the mind crap. I do. Uh, did you? I think everyone heard her. You see another point. Everyone shares their experiences from a different perspective. So why should I waste my time with those impurities or which you say strong likes and dislikes, reaction, blame and complain? <clears throat> why? So when you question why, you realize that I'm not worthy of suffering. Wonderful. So how are you? How are you? Samir. Sir, I went, um, I went into peace very quickly. Now, now I am able to see a lot of things separately. Good. Means now I don't flow with the mind. Very now close. I am I'm able, able to, to put bricks on the mind with, with my understanding. understanding. Do you see your honey separately? No, no sir. sir. No, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Very good. How are you, Christina? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Um, um, I continue, I continue to be, to be curious, curious about, about the irritations, irritations anger, frustrations, frustration that I notice less, less um, struggle with, with the breathing. The breathing. Yes. And uh, uh, just, just being able, able to observe, observe it. it. And, and um, it, it's, I, felt I felt more ease, ease uh, today. today. And yes. the green was, yes. was when was it. we are able to absorb, observe, it means I have a recognition now. This is happening in, this is my experience. My experience is different from a waking state. And if we continue, it is going to help us. The time comes when we are totally separate. So when I'm separate, then I can take over the anger. If I'm not separate, the anger takes over me. Oh, we are, you are already a, uh, Counselor, so you will understand better. Wonderful. And how are you, Wave Hope? Uh, thank you, sir. Sir, sir I'm, I'm calm, calm, peaceful. peaceful. Uh, uh, understanding is that uh, there's a separation between the waking state and the, what, what is going in the mind. mind. So, so based, based on, on that, that, in between, between now, now the choice, the choice is, there. is there. So, so when, when I can, I can see, see that the mind, mind is complaining, complaining the choice, choice is there, then I don't want to complain, complain and I come back. So it was like, uh, it, it was became, became, again, my mind became calm. Mind. Mind. <clears throat> you know what, uh, everyone shared the same experience in a different way and that makes, that makes the session very uh, good because you are sharing the experiences after the practice and after understanding. So you see that when I say I am I am angry, I have become an anger, there is no choice. For example, so when there is a separation, I could see in my head, how? By awareness. So we, this is a waking state and here is an anger. I have a choice. I have a choice, I exercise my choice. And I continue to evolve. How are you, Anastasia? <clears throat> Thank you. It was very um, fast meditation and calm and peaceful. And um, I had always this I am in my head because I've been contemplating on my relationship uh, and I've noticed, noticed that, that when I'm in, in the role, relationships, relationships means two, like, like mother and daughter, daughter friend, and any good bad husband, wife. Yeah. And, and it, it always, always enters duality. And then the mind starts to play its, its games. Yeah. So, so I was, was thinking, thinking about this idea before, before 
daughter, wife, wife a woman, woman, or yes, yeah, yeah, to bring yes, myself, myself back, back to this one estate. estate. Very good. I'm happy you are picking up that principle. First I am, then only after that I have a label, husband, wife, parents. So, you know, you see, there are many different approaches. Ultimately, we have to move into that pure consciousness. In the pure consciousness, there is no division, there is no label, there is no demand, there is no seeking. So when we recognize that we are already there into that stage. So beautiful. Thank you. I think I have covered each one yet. Thank you very much. Thank so you. I'm going to send you this file. Please do the practice, listen and contemplate. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.